Panthers. Joining us right now, their head coach, Ron Turner. Ron, good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you. Thanks and, for having us. And next to him is Anthony Wimp, second team All-Conference USA last season. Anthony, good to have you here. Yes, sir. And record-setting quarterback from last season for FIU, Alex Magoo. He set the FIU record in attempts and completions last season. But I want to talk, first of all, for you, coach, and last season. Kind of sum up what happened last season. I think the I word would have to be used, meaning injuries. Yeah, it, it definitely was a factor. You hate using that because you don't want to make, sound like you're making excuses, but but it's a fact. You know, we I think we had our starters missed over 120 games combined, and it, it seemed to hit certain positions. Offensive line, we never had the same starting um, line two weeks in a row. We had at one time I think where we had the same starting line two weeks in a row. Um, our linebackers, two of our top three linebackers, went out and missed at least three fourths of the season, and the same thing with our safeties. And then we lost our, our top two tight ends, which, which had a big impact late in the year. We weren't the same team late as we were early. Early we came out of the gate, I thought we were playing some really good football and doing some good things in all phases, and we just couldn't sustain it due to the injuries. But the positive on that is a lot of guys got starting experience, got playing experience that are carry over for this year. We've got a lot of returning um, experience coming back. You know, you talk about the injuries last year, and obviously it was devastating for the offense, but that was a blessing in disguise almost for yeah. this season, putting a positive spin on it. You have a lot of offensive linemen coming back this year. Yeah, we've got, I think it's 92 starts coming back, returning. You know, and some guys started left tackle, then right tackle, then right guard in different places, but we got a lot of guys back, led by Mike Montero inside a center, who had a very good year last year. He's coming back, and then um, the other guys, Trenton Saunders, we'll get him back. He got hurt last year, missed about eight games, and, and he was playing really well at right guard. Diego Joseph, you know, coming in, got some experience com coming back, has had a great offseason. So I think that offensive line, if we can stay healthy, Kai Abshir, if we can stay healthy, um, will be very good. I think you've got to look at, to the overall picture of the offense. This is the first time since you've been at FIU that you have two complete sets of offense, yeah. maybe even three. You've got a lot of experience yeah. coming back. Got a lot of experience, and, and all of our playmakers basically are coming back. And led by John New Smith, you know, led by Alex, obviously. Right. And Alex uh, has had two two really good years. He's gotten better every year, and is, is developing into to the leader of the team and doing a great job. Had a super spring. You can tell he's been in the system two years, and he knows and he knows exactly what we're trying to do and attacking defenses, getting us in and out of plays and doing all the things you want a quarterback to do and then getting John New Smith back who missed the last four games of the year last year, of the season last year. Um, he's healthy and he actually looks better than he's ever looked. And then Alex Gardner led the team in rushing and receptions. Anthony Jones, um, who was a freshman last year, a sophomore this year, had a great spring. He's got special talent who can be a big time player. And then on the outside, you know, T.O. Um, Thomas Owens on the outside as a receiver had a big year last year. So we got almost all of our playmakers back. And, and if we can stay healthy in the offensive line, give Alex time and get the run game going, you know, I feel good about what we, uh, you know, what we can do offensively. Before I get to the players, is the word consistency the main word for offense this season? Yeah, no question. Like I said, we were really good early last year. We were really good at times last year. But there are some times we weren't very good, and that's exactly right. And that's always the key, consistency. And, and our guys just to go out there and run our offense. Again, right. don't try to do too much. Just go out there and play. we got enough ability. we got enough athletes. Let's just go out there and play. Let's talk to Anthony Witt now for a moment, talk a little defense, second team all-conference USA. As we mentioned, you had a great year last year, your first year. Coaches always talk about making that next step. What's that next step for you? Uh, my st next step, I would say, would be uh, leadership. I feel like I, I played it. I don't even. I don't. I mean, everybody gets nervous, but I don't get nervous playing anymore. I feel like I know what I'm doing. I know you know how to make plays. But leadership and helping other guys be comfortable playing the game. Did the game slow down for you last season? In other words, your first game, I'm sure your heart was pounding outside of your chest. But as you went along, did the game? You got to see more in the game. Yeah, I believe well, def definitely. I feel like uh, the game slowed down a lot. Uh, I was able to diagnose plays a lot, tell other people where to be, um, get people lined up, and just make plays all around the field. Now you have a new defensive coordinator. It's Ron Cooper joins the staff. What changes, if any, have you seen in that? Uh, you said you knew about Coach Cooper yep. was um, there before. and A lot of guys are familiar with Coach Cooper. We like him a lot. And he's just in a another position now. He's, um, I mean, he acts like the same guy. And, uh, just leadership. He's, uh, you know, obviously, obviously a different guy, and we're just ready for it to get, hear his command and ready to play. When you look at the numbers, you would have to say, on the defensive side, it's got to be about the pass rush this season. Would you agree with that? Of trying to put a little more pressure so people don't 
just attack your defensive backs? Uh, I feel like we need help everywhere in the secondary. Everybody has to do the job. Linebackers, it's a complete concept. And um, obviously losing two quality DNs, uh, we have to replace those two guys. So, And I feel like we have the guys to do it. Furman Silva, who plays with a tip on his shoulder, mm-hmm. and Anthony Johnson, John Broome, those guys are ready to get after it. They, they're hungry, they're ready to play and, and get out there and play. Alex Magoo, the quarterback, obviously set FIU records last season. When I first saw you play, I thought you threw the fastball, and that was your only pitch. <laughs> you know, what have you learned in the last couple of years? Uh, Coach Turner's always preached to me, you don't got to throw it as hard as you can. Throw it as like you were trying to throw to your mom. You know, you, you don't got to throw the fastball every time. You know, you just got to throw the appropriate ball. And, you know, I've, I've learned that, and, and it really helped me last year as far as accuracy and, you know, mm-hmm. ball placement and things of that nature. Anthony talked about leadership, mm-hmm. and I would think the same whole truths for you, yes. that the next step for you is a little more leadership. Mm-hmm. Is that fair? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, more vocal leadership. Um, I'm not one to, you know, scream and yell, but, but you know, on the, on the field, people know that, that I mean business, and they can come to me, and, and, I'll, and I'll lead them the right way. But I just got to, you know, become more of a vocal leader and be more active in, you know, telling them what, what needs to be done and, and how to do it. Coach Turner and I were talking last year. I said, what does Alex need to do in the offseason? Mm-hmm. And Ron told me they wanted you to look at tape of other quarterbacks, preferably NFL quarterbacks. Yes, did you do that? And if so, what did you learn? Yes, sir. You know, the Coach Turner and, you know, the video coordinator, they did a great job, you know, getting me all the film that that I could possibly ever imagine. And, you know, I, I watched Aaron Rodgers a lot. And, you know, just how he carried himself mm-hmm. and how he, you know, interacted and how he was always so poised, you know, even with the, the play clock running down. He was... You know, commanding you know his receivers, his running backs, the O line, everybody, in such a such a manner that that you know it kind of inspired me to kind of be like him. And as far as just staying calm and not panicking when when you, you should panic, but just to stay calm and and instruct everybody. So during the summer, what have you worked on? Uh, every, I mean, everything. You know, my game can improve in every aspect, but as far as you know, like throwing it. Uh, Part ball placement, you know, whether to put it on the left shoulder or the right mm-hmm. shoulder, um, and accuracy, like like I was talking about earlier, with not throwing it 100 miles an hour, or you know the touch <laughs> on the ball, either throw like a three ball or a two ball. So, does this team coach have big play potential? Yeah, I think so, and that's an area that we we feel like we need to improve on. We we made some big plays at times, but it's something that that we could do a better job of. And we weren't ranked very high in the conference last year in a number of big plays. Right. And and I think we have the the athletes and the players to do it. We just have to make sure we put them in position to do it. And and I think that'll come. I think we have some guys that have a lot of confidence that can do that. And that's the next step we have to take um, is making more making more big plays. It's hard to put a drive together and go down the field 80 yards. You know, 12 play drives. All the time, you have to get big, the big yardage plays, the big chunks, and and that's an area that we definitely are working on. That's an area that we definitely would need to and will improve on. Well, you know, one big play you had is obviously Alex to Jonu Smith, which I had the pleasure of being there for. But when you look at Jonu Smith, you need somebody else to take the pressure off him. Is that a fair question? Yeah, no, no question about it. And and when Jonu was a freshman, he was really all we had, and everyone, right. you know, and he still made plays. And now that we have some other weapons with Alex Gardner and Anthony Jones and Teal on the outside and some other guys that can make some plays, um, that's going to take some pressure off John New. And when we do go to him, he'll, he'll respond and make the big plays. But it's not just about John New right now. It's about everybody. And Alex has such a good understanding of the offense that he can spread the ball around and he can look at the coverage. And that will indicate where he should go with the ball. And he understands that right now. So it's not all going to be about John New. And Alex would do a good job, like I said, mm-hmm. of, of going to the appropriate receiver and having confidence that they'll make plays for him. You know, you you look at last season and your record at five and seven, but with all the injuries, with all the problems, you were right on the cusp of making a bowl game. Is, yeah. is that lost on the players, do you think, or have you reminded them that? Oh, I don't have to remind them. They know <laughs> that. They know, and I think they have a lot of confidence. They know how close we were. They know how good we can be. And you know the big thing is is hopefully avoid the injury bug and stay healthy and be able to finish. We started out really strong last year. We weren't able to finish the way we wanted to the last couple of weeks, and um, I think that has a chip on these guys' shoulders. And they've had a, an unbelievable off season. Our strength coach Chad Smith has done a great job with these guys, and you know I've never heard him talk so positive about a group of guys as he is this and what they've done. Not just the work, but the attitude and the confidence and the camaraderie. I mean I think we truly have 
a team in that locker room, a group of guys that really care about one another. And I've never been on a winning team where you didn't have that special feeling in the locker room. And I, and I feel it from these guys. I did. Last year it was pretty good, but this year it's different. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because one of the notes I had that, that we've actually chatted about, you've always stressed accountability. And yeah. we're not talking on the field, which is important. Yeah. You're talking off the field. Is it time for that to start translating? Yeah, it, and it definitely will. And I told these guys uh, the very first team that I had four years ago in the team meeting, you know, we're not going to win on the field till we're winners off the field. And these guys are doing everything we ask them to do off the field, academically, in the community, on campus, and they're winners off the field. And that definitely is going to translate into wins on the field. Anthony, I want to talk to you when you look at that record last season. Does it really kind of bug you the fact that you were this close? to go into a bowl game. Yeah, it, bu I, it bugs me. I feel like it bugs the whole team. I feel like we work hard in the offseason, throughout the season. We give all we got. And then you get that close and you, do you don't make it. But I feel like it motivates us for for this year, knowing that, you know, the work that we put in is it, it, not going to go to waste. And it shouldn't go to waste this year. And that we should win six or even more. The, the sky's the limit for us. Third year as a starter. Sure. It's time to step up, is it not? Yes, it is. In yes, it is. what way besides leadership? In every way that they can just help the team, you know, as far as, you know, raising my play and, you know, trying to raise other people's play as far as, you know, being almost a cheerleader on the sideline mm -hmm. to, to other positions, to the defense, to special teams. And, and everyone's, everyone's, you know, on the same boat, you know, we're all just, we're for the team, you know, instead of, you know, for yourselves. So it, it's, it's come a long way from, from my freshman year. I tell you, I wish you the best of luck, Coach, this year. Gentlemen, stay healthy. That's the first so thing. Awesome. And we look forward to seeing you during the regular season. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. Thank you, it. gentlemen. Coming up next, we'll introduce you to one of the newest coaches in Conference USA, and he's the head coach at North Texas.